Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with Anna to do the announcements. Our first announcement, Grove System is hosting an apprenticeship, open houses where you can learn about their apprentice program. Dates are October 12th, November 9th, December 7th, January 11th, and February 8th. Email for um, more information. Kit and Gatekeepers will be hosting a kickball tournament on Wednesday, uh, November 6th from 1 to 3 p.m. in the Fieldhouse. Teams must have eight players and it costs $1 per person. Uh, teams must have at least one member per grade level. Sign up forms are in the guidance office. All money and forms must return, be returned by February Friday, November 1st. Now let's head on off to the first debut episode of Big Dumb Trucks. Big dumb trucks here with Brady Beeman and his big old dumb truck. Brady, how much did these wheels and rims cost? They costed enough. How much did the truck cost? They costed enough too. Now combine together, which one's more expensive? The truck. Oh, okay. Pretty close though. Alright, now pop this bad boy and tell me what's under it. 7.3 liter power stroke. It's a good running motor. <laughs> That's what I need or two. That's it? That's all you're going to tell us? I mean, it ain't that much done to it. You got turp ski in this? There's a turp ski in it. You hear that, folks? It whistles. Nice. Rev it up. Rev it up. Let's see that smoke roll. Oh, give her another one. There we go. Get him down. The most important thing is definitely the rust. Yeah, it's just like Get in here, Max. This is the pristine Brady Beeman big dumb truck right here. Headliner, that's that's another good thing. You know, it's kind of coming down on This is the fully loaded version of the Beeman truck. Door don't open very well. Right here, Max. Now, Brady, why are there holes right here? Well, I have to put the fender flares on it before I got it. They uh, drilled them into the fender. It didn't do them right. So now there's just holes on them. Now, why would they do that? I don't know, stupid. Stupid. Why are you taking your license plate off? License plate. You don't need a license plate. Now what are you doing with the stock bumper on here? Well, we don't have a big old son of a gun on there. So you got enough money for it yet. We well, got enough money, buy five thousand dollar rims. Oh, oh, cut that. <laughs> cut that. Look the field trip. Now this is a four two fifty super duty to get the job done, son. Big dumb. Trucks. The Kent High School Social Studies Department wants to remind you those who are registered to vote that early voting and absentee voting is underway. You can cast your early vote at the Hardin County Board of Elections located in the basement of the courthouse between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. weekdays through November 1st. Additional extended hours are as follows. For more information, visit the Hardin County Board of Elections at uh, seniors, Indian Lake High School is hosting a FAFSA help workshop for you and your parents on November 7th, 4.30 to 6 o'clock. You can email to register. For more information, see Ms. Rogers. Let's send it off to our yearly pumpkin carving contest at k &N. Shut up. What is up, KHS? Today we're here in the Gourd Carving Championships with Pat, Noah. Oh, crap. The wrong teams. And we're gonna be splitting up into teams and we're gonna carve each pumpkin. And the first team is Pat and Noah. Pat's pumpkins. And then you got Jocelyn and Kendall, the Silent Knight. And then you got Jazz and Kenzie, JK. And then Brooklyn and Kaylin, uh, Burger King. <laughs> so they're gonna start carving into these good old pumpkins and then we're gonna see whose looks the best out.
All right, folks, this is all the pumpkins side by side. And this is Brooklyn's to my right. Pat's pumpkins right here. Uh, JK's. And then Ghost Riders. But they're disqualified because they took too long. So go vote on the Twitter poll at Cat and K&N and vote whose pumpkin's the best. Have a happy Halloween. Okay, so how do you feel about this pumpkin? I dig it, dog. That's a pretty solid notch if you ask me. Okay, and what about this one? It looks like something I'd eat, maybe. Okay, and the other one? Um, that one's pretty spooky. It looks kind of ucky, though. It looks like me after I've, like, ate too much knuckles. But. Okay, and what about the last one? Yeah, it's pretty solid. Which one's your favorite? The notch, bro. Yeah. Just a reminder that there are Christmas care packages for the military in your rooms that HOSA is collecting travel-sized Q-tips, tissues, and deodorants. The Blue Star Mothers will be collecting these and sending these care packages to military members. Bring your travel-sized items to your fifth period class. The fifth period class that collects the most donations will get a pizza party. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Miss Bookmeyer or Bailey Clark. Um, Ohio Means Jobs will host a job fair on Friday, November 6th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The Hardin County Sheriff, Sheriff's Office, uh, KHS seniors who plan to work after graduation are encouraged to attend this fair to learn about job opportunities. Also, please save the date for the annual Hardin County High School Career Fair. It will take place this year at the Hardin County Fairgrounds on Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020. For questions about attending these local career fair fairs, please contact Ms. Cross at... Now we're off to the sports corner. Welcome back, KHS, to another week of the sports corner. Now let's go look at some of the Ace Hardware Players of the Week. All right, I'm here with Blaine Houston, Ace Hardware Player of the Game Week 6. And Ace Hardware play of the game week four. How's it feel to win Ace Hardware play of the game twice? Uh, feels good, but you know, can do without my teammate. Here with Austin Moore, week one Ace Hardware player of the game. How do you feel receiving this award? I was surprised. You were surprised. Why were you surprised? You played a great game. I, I, I can't tell. You can't tell. You just you just go. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, big guy. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'm back with another. Ace Hardware Player of the Game, week six, goes to Luke Fackler. Luke, how's it feel? Oh, it feels, feels great. It's a great honor to share um, an award which uh, so many great other athletes have received the Kenton football team, so it's a much appreciated award. Thank you. There you go, Luke Fackler, folks. Tyson is no longer with us because he could not handle the sports corner. But no, what do you think about the Powder Puff game? I thought it was great. Kicking your butt all over again felt good. You guys weren't ready for the juniors to come out, score a couple touchdowns. Had you guys nervous at first? Oh, absolutely not. We have playmakers on the team. I was never nervous. All right, let's go talk to the star of the junior powder puff team, Kinsey Bays. Ask her what she thinks about the game. We're here with Kinsey Bays, the all-star of the junior powder puff team. Kinsey, are you jealous of the Funkhauser Family Farms trophy? She's not jealous of, but do you think that we can capture this next year? Yeah. Probably not. Kenzie, how'd you feel getting shut down by Hannah Hall and Sydney Plot? You're here, folks. No comment. <laughs> How are you going to prepare your team next year to win the Funkhauser Family Farms trophy? I don't know, folks. <laughs> she does not know. Well, folks, that's all for this week. Thanks for coming back and watching another week of the Sports Corner. Juniors! Miss Rogers has shared information about an upcoming ACT prep workshop with your, with you through your school email. See guidance office with any questions. The host of single elimination dodgeball tournament will be Friday, November 15th at 6.30 p.m. Sign-ups are during A, B, and C lunch periods and will begin Monday, October 3rd and run until November 11th. There will be six members to a team. Two of those members must be females. Teachers are welcome to come join as well. The cost to play is $20 a team. If you don't want to play, feel free to come watch. The student entry fee is $1 and adult fee is $2. No need to worry, we'll also be offering some yummy and tasty concessions during the dodgeball tournament, so come prepared for an evening of fun. Now we're gonna go check out some of last Friday's parent night highlights of the football game.
Too late. such as a suit or tie for any interview or academic purposes, visit the Wildcat Career Closet. It's located in the library and open to all students on Wednesday during 5 a and B, 7 and 8 periods, or by appointment. Any questions, email Ms. Cross at. And you can still email Ms. Cross at the same email if you have any questions about career readiness because she is our career readiness advisor. Her office days also include the same days as the Wildcat Career Closet. So if you have any questions, please email her. Please. Thank you. Now we're gonna set it off to the annual Power Pub game. Ooh. Oh, we're here with Tyson Lawrence, the head coach of the freshmen. How do you feel about your chances tonight? Uh, I feel very uh, great about our chances to win tonight. Um, I just got here and I don't know what we're doing, so uh, here we go. All right, I'm here with the head coach of the sophomores, Foxy. How do you feel about your chances of winning tonight? A hundred percent, not even a question. hundred percent, all right. Well, that double pass didn't work too well. What's in your playbook tonight? Any trick plays? That was our one trick play. Their one trick play did not work, so hopefully they come out with a win. Backwards pass! They're going to be over here. So. When, when, where's she at? When, oh, you call Hunt. You're gonna hand it to Gabby. Play the, Gabby. Ball. Play the ball. <laughs> here we're here with Hannah Holen. How do you feel about your chances tonight? I'm good. I think we can beat them. You just think? Uh, no, we can. We got this. Saucy. <laughs> All right, right here I have Hannah Holland and Madison Adams who just won their fourth powder puff game. Hannah, how'd the game go? Um, I was closer than usual, but we still won. Madison? So we ain't taking no L's around here, Reed. Right? So don't you take get no out of here with that. She don't take no L's around here. And with me right now, I have the Cannon Funkhauser Family Farms Player of the Game Award. And tonight's award goes to Madison. Hey! Yeah! Scandalous. Okay, Madison, how's it feel to win the Cannon? Funkhauser Family Farms Award. Oh, bro, you just know from 07, it's a little bit of you. 07's the littest. 07, Funkhauser Family Farms coming at you. Thank you for your donation. Anna, did you get trucked by anybody Tuesday? Nah, dog, nah, dog. Okay, good. Aubrey Thrush decided to block me and give me a nice old hug. I'll be right. Okay, and now we're sending it off to social media with the girls. The girls. Welcome back to social media. Last week's poll winner for 
big dumb trucks with Brady Beeman. Uh, this week's poll is vote for whichever pumpkin you think is the best. Thank you for joining us on another episode of KNN. Go vote on the Twitter poll and also join us to support the cats at Alida. I'll still away go, me amigas. <laughs>